Hey guys, it is Horses37 here, or Reagan, as you might know. And today I'm going to be showing you how to, how I groom my horse. It could be a tutorial if you don't know how, and yeah. So anywho, first, I accidentally stopped the other video, but yeah. So first, you need a horse, of course. <coughs> She's pooping. Okay. Um... You need a good, a good, a good area that's not too muddy. And you need to halter your horse, or halter your horse. I have a rope halter. You need to tie your horse. So, if I can, I'll get this started, kind of. So, oops, here we go. So I go, hey, you're okay. So I go over like that, and then eesh, pull through like that. And I'm still teaching her how to tie and sit there when she's tied because she's not very good with it. We, I work with her. Sorry, guys. That was weird. I worked with her yesterday on it. But I don't know how she will act. When I'm around her, she's okay, though. Okay. Then you will need a curry comb. You can use plastic ones. I don't. And then a soft brush. So, let me get you, let me get you set up, and then I will show you how to. Okay, as long as this won't tip. Over, it should be good. Okay, so you will need curry and soft brush. So, first, I'm starting out with a curry comb. It's metal, but it doesn't hurt the horses. So, then I just like this, just scrapes out all the dirt, and you just want to brush not hard, just soft along their sides and on their back. You do not want to push hard on their back and ribs. Those are super sensitive, so you do not want to push hard. So you just want to go nice and soft. And when you get over to their butt, you just brush in the way of the fur. And you just kind of go in there. Like so, and then I'm gonna do that to the other side real fast, and then I will show you the next step. Okay, so now drop it in the poop. The poop is the only dry spot I have right now. Everywhere else is muddy because it snowed and all the snow melted. Not all of it, but most of it. But next, we're gonna go in with a soft brush or a firm brush. Some people call it like a flick brush. And you just kind of flick all that dirt that we brought up with the curry comb off. So you just want to just in flash motions with one hand, not like, not like this. And in long strokes, you just want to do a good flick. So just everywhere we got with the curry and uh, get her belly yep. and I do like to do her belly like in case you're doing the cinch them put the cinch on or the saddle or you know because then they won't get saddle sores on it and that's why we brush them at least that's what I've heard. She has a lot of dirt on her bum. Okay. So, once you have all that, I'm going to do it to the other side real fast, and then I will be back. Okay, so, now for the legs, I go in with my soft brush. Sometimes if you need to curry out mud out of their feet, 
then you can use your curry comb but the soft brush just helps break apart the dirt and so it won't hurt them so for the back feet i go like this and i'm just hey it's okay <laughs> she's super relaxed aren't you so i just brush out all that dirt on her leg this also helps to sensitize them to things around their leg. So only if your horse is comfortable with you being around their legs, then you can do this. If they aren't, then you probably shouldn't because you will get kicked in the head. So then for the front, just the same thing. Just brush down their legs. Like so. And just do it to the other side as well let me hurry and do that okay so i did find a spot that needs to be combed out so just anywhere on the foot i just like to just underneath her hock here ha she has a little bit then i just kind of use my fingers to get it out because the curry can be rough on them so then just brush it off. Your fingers are just softer, so it doesn't hurt them as bad. And then for the mane, I don't usually brush out her mane. So this might be pretty bad, but yeah. She sat on me like, what are you doing? But I just take my soft brush. If it's really bad, then you can use a curry. It just can get stuck. So I just like to just go through her mane and you can go through in sections i'm just not right now <laughs> but i just go through her mane like so she's so relaxed right now she's like oh yes so i just like to brush through and then if she will let me do her forelock then maybe i will Oh gosh, she's tall. She's 15.2 hands and I'm 5'2", so. <laughs> it doesn't, sometimes things don't work out too well. Okay, so now you can brush through their mane so you don't have to. Her mane is like getting lighter for some reason. She's looking like a half flinger horse. Not exactly like one, but kind of. So, then if you would like to do their tail, you just want to grab their tail. Let me... I'm using a curry comb for this part because she has cocoa burrs in her tail. And you just start at the ends and brush through. And then just keep on doing that. You can stand behind them like this. I've done it before. She doesn't kick. She's not known to kick. She's, I've never seen her kick anyone. Um, but if your horse is super kicky, just take a piece, brush it out, put it back, and then take another piece and just keep on doing that until it's fully brushed out. So let me hurry and do that. I usually don't brush out their mane until, her mane until too much because, um, it gets long and thick and just healthier if you don't but in the summer I like to brush out her tail because then she can flick flies easier and it won't be in clumps and it's just more effective but yeah then you can braid or just leave it at that she's being super duper good standing tied so yeah Hopefully this video was helpful and you will use it, but yeah, please subscribe. It would make me super happy and you can always unsubscribe. It's free. She's trying to eat my bracelets. Um, stop. Um, but yeah, stop trying to eat my bracelets, girl. So please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.